Richie is that he's managed to commentate all his life without resorting to cliche, but more than that, he's that calm voice of reason. When everybody's getting hysterical, he sits there and analyzes exactly what's happened. And that's what I want from a commentator. That's it, Drake Kevin's got it. That is the record. His standards have not changed at all throughout the years. I mean, age hasn't dimmed him at all. He's a truly remarkable man with his own place in the history of, 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 of broadcasting. Of that, there is no doubt. Uh, obviously, as uh, a player when I was a youngster, um, a great leader of uh, teams and men, uh, and then probably got to know him much better as a commentator. Did interviews with him, um, found him a fascinating man, shared a few glasses of red wine with him over the years in various parts of the world. Um, an amazing guy. He, he set the standard of how you should commentate. We all get emails now from our bosses about less is more, you know, let the pictures do the talking. I think Richie did that the best with just with a little, small little phrase in there, you know, that he would give and just leave it, even if it was an extraordinary event. We remembered that the voice was outstanding. Um, the voice was unique. Um, the way, I mean, everyone picks up on the way he said his twos. And if anyone does a, a Richie Benno impression, you could guarantee they're gonna go, uh, 222 for two, you know, they'll, they'll try and do that straight away. Um, obviously, he's much more than just a voice. Um, there was the way he looked down the camera, uh, the way he sort of looked uh, directly at the camera, directly at you, in effect, to address you on the game of cricket. One of the early things he said to me was that you're, a, you're kind of a, like a guest in somebody's front room, really, for six hours of the day. Um, so try not to irritate them. Uh, try, try not to get to the stage where they want to switch you off, and I've tried to bear that in mind. Richie, of course, was not just an Australian icon. He was loved all around the cricketing world by spectators and players alike. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, this is Richie Benno's final test match in England as a commentator of Channel 4. He just finished the spell of commentary at the Royal Tour I'm sure you might enjoy the England on the Royal Tour Ball and Sally Gabby Lee Club. And he's not in the first competition for the UK. Loved every moment of it. What's even better, it's been a great deal of fun.